I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. As a matter of fact, it was. Testing, testing, check, check, check. One, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. We are now at Smith's Grove uh, Rehabilitation Facility. We're here today to interview a patient that spent the last 40 years in captivity and by all accounts has not uttered a word. This monster. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Ranbir Sartain. Great to finally meet you. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us today. Mm. We were hoping to have this opportunity before he's transferred to the new facility. Glass Hill is far less accommodating. Glass Hill is the pit of hell. For years he's been kept here to be studied. I suppose the state has lost interest in discovering anything further. Well, that's why we're here. 
Michael has been my life's obsession. I've examined every single case file written on him. I was a student of Dr. Loomis before he passed away. And then I lobbied the University of Illinois to be assigned to Michael myself. Any progress? Well, he's been seen by over 50 clinical psychiatrists and with each many different opinions. Dr. Loomis was the only one to see him in the wild. And he concluded he was nothing more than pure evil. Our patients get fresh air, sunshine, a view, proper exercise, healthy diet. It pains me to see him transferred to that less than desirable facility. And there he is. I'd love to stand closer to him, if I may. Get a sense of his awareness or lack of awareness. Oh, make no mistake, he's aware. Perhaps you'd like to tie your left shoelace? Mr. Tavoli here, the gentleman with the umbrella, has a fixation for such things. Underestimate no one. Yes. Okay, now step up to the yellow line. And no further. Do not cross the line under any circumstances. Michael? Michael? I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Hello, Michael. My name is Aaron Corey. I've been following your case for years and still know very little about you. I'd like to know more about that night, about those involved. Do you ever think about them, Michael? Feel guilt about their fate? I borrowed something from a friend at the Attorney General's office, Michael. You feel it, don't you, Michael? You feel the mask. Say something, Michael. Say something. You can feel it, can't you? Part of you, Michael. It's a part of you. Say something. Say something, Michael.
Having witnessed the animal in its captive state and failed to provoke any sort of response, we now track down its counterpart. Could it be that one monster has created another? And although the iron bars and barbed wire that separate them are both strong and sharp, the metaphysical lines are blurred and slight. Both exist in isolation, fettered by their own fear and hatred of one another. Yeah. Could it be that the only hope of rehabilitation Spooky. is through confrontation? Strode. 